Good enough, those thanks again for tuning in to yet another video for Miss Coming At You Live once again from San Jose, California. Here we have my 2024 Lowrider S. I just finished building it. This is, like I said, this is a 2024 Lowrider S. You guys can look at it. We have the FXR fairing on it. We have, uh, I mean, we have all kinds of stuff on this, okay? So here it is. You guys can obviously, obviously see I have the new Lowrider S. I have the new Lowrider S fuel tank on here. So you guys can obviously, obviously, sorry guys, the helmet's a little tight. You guys can see it is a 2024 Lowrider S 117. This thing is a beast. Just finished building it out. You guys can check out the new paint. It's been built out 100%. And there it is, 117 right there. The proof is in the pudding. 117 Lowrider S uh, 2024 right there. Obviously, you guys can see I'm, I'm joking. This is a 2020 Lowrider S with, of course, the brand new Lowrider S dash cover. You guys can check that out. This is what I've been working on for, uh, I believe, for the last two months. I've been, of course, redoing the paint. I wanted to just change it up. That's why I'm doing that. And, of course, I mean, this isn't a 117. You guys know I'm joking. That You guys can see it's got the 114 on there. But, I mean, I don't, I'm just trying to, you know, give you guys a little bit of an idea that, I mean, they're, they're still the same bike. <laughs> Uh, it, it's yes, it's a 2020 VIN, but I mean, like I mentioned, I got the new fuel tank. That is that. That's what makes it, you know, pretty much a, a 2023-2024 Lowrider S. And if I wanted to, I could even label it a, a Lowrider ST, and I could and I could say I I just swapped out the the fairing and uh, got rid of the uh, the small bags. So I, I could also you know call it a Lowrider ST. I have, obviously, I have the fuel tank. I, I just don't have the FXLRST, uh, what's it called, the fairing. But anyways, man, I've been busy. As you guys can obviously see, I don't have the space to be doing this type of work. Uh, I've been I've been pretty busy with the paint. I don't have the space to paint, you know, all the parts. I've been painting, you know, three parts at a time. I believe I did the, the, the front fender. I did the front fender along with the side covers one go and then i had a i believe i did the the rear fender oh yes i did the the rear fender with the windshield with that i don't have on here i i, I have it I, I have it uh at the house i i gotta go ahead and and put that on there but i believe i did the the rear fender with the windshield and of course you guys can see the memphis shades um hand guards i did that one go and then i believe i did the fuel tank by itself because like i said i don't have the space to be painting all these parts it would have taken me a, in it would have been a lot faster if i had all the parts painted all at once but because i'm, I'm limited with space uh, i just didn't have the space to go ahead and and paint everything one go it would have been a lot faster i mean it wouldn't have taken me two months and then i believe i did the fairing I, I, I think I did the fairing with something else. I can't remember what else. Uh, unless I did the fairing by itself. I don't I don't think so. But uh, anyways, there it is. This is my 2024 <laughs> Lowrider S. Man, you guys can see all the little details, of course. I'm just, man, I'm a huge fan of these, uh, of these scales. I mean, I, I just like the way they look. I can't, I mean, I can't get around it. Uh, and the sun rays, of course, with that sunburst, all candy, metal flake. Uh, so far, I, I don't know, you guys want a proper walk around? A proper walk around of my Lowrider S, my 2024 Lowrider S. I haven't really done much uh, with the suspension except for the rear, of course. You guys might be able to see it's a little bit taller. I do have a... Um, I have a, uh, what's it called, a, a Fox Shock, a 13.1 inch. So it's about, the, the I think that's the same travel or the same, about the same suspension as a 2022 Lowrider S and up because they, they did add a half an inch to the, uh, to the monoshock. So this actually has the same ride height as a 2024, 2023, 2022, maybe, yeah, 2022 to 2024, it has the same monoshock or the same uh, height. 
I will, I, I mean, if you're wondering and you're wondering uh, as far as recommendations, I, I'd say just go with the 13.5. So that's so far with the suspension, the front forks, of course, standard, stock, OEM. Um, if you guys seen, of course, my other uh, walk around videos, it's pretty much all, you know, it's, it's pretty much still the same. I've changed a few components. You guys can see the engine. I have a stage two in this thing. It's a 475. If you guys heard it idling earlier, it's a 475 SNS. I have uh, the pump plate kit in this. You guys can also see I, I swapped out the uh, the uh, the push rod covers for the black ones. I thought the kit came with the uh, you know with 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 the covers down at the bottom. With, with the lifter covers I thought the kit came with that it didn't and I wasn't going to order it and then wait uh, you know a week for those for those parts so I just went ahead and I threw them in there you guys can let me know in the comments if you guys think that looks a little silly um, 475 and of course you can see I have the trash everything's filthy all right this it's been raining it's been raining non-stop I mean today has, has been one of the, the just better days for for you know for, for the weather it's been raining non-stop. I keep my bikes outside, so the, the bike's completely filthy, and like I said, it's been sitting for about uh, two months. This bike has been sitting for about two months. So, no, I think I think it's been sitting for one month because, uh, yeah, that, that that fuel tank is, is I, I, I painted that while I was still riding my Lowrider S. I painted the fuel tank first, and then I started, you know, taking stuff off of it. Anyways, back on to... Uh, the stage one, uh, you guys can see it's got the Trask Assault Air Breather. We also have the SPC uh, Lane Splitter. Not the big board, but I mean, she performs. She's, she sounds rowdy. She's a lot louder than my El Diablo. If you guys have been following the channel, you guys already seen all these videos. So 475 Trask Assault Air Breather. And I mean, I have like three different air breathers. So I'm always swapping that. Uh, like I said, I also have the SPC. We also have a Trask uh, uh, Checkmate uh, Trans Cover, along with, of course, the Trask uh, Ventilated. Of course, same thing over here. And this is a, a, like a proper, a a, a a a proper external air breather, not like uh, the other ones where they they uh, they uh, what's it called? Man, what can I talk right now? They cover up the ports or anything. This it, this goes out to that little guy right down there, and I gotta clean that up. That's that's been a little filthy, but it of course yes, you know I have the trans vented cover, and then I also have the external air breather. And the reason why I did that because every time when I would shut off my engine, I would get a a ton of oil splat right onto my 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 uh, plexi cover right here. You guys can see this is of course you're, you're supposed to be able to see in there. And when you shut it off, it just shoots the the uh, the blow by. It shoots it all over the the glass. And I mean, I, I just kind of figured, what's the point of having the the see through glass if it's always going to be covered by hot oil? And that's why you know we we have that. So it's been doing the job, of course. Uh, you know, it's just good not having all that oil, the hot oil in your intake and on your pistons and your jugs and all that other you know other good stuff. So. Uh, I also have the lowers. I haven't gotten around to installing them, but I mean, pretty much the uh, the fuel tank is from a 2019, 2018. I got it on eBay. I believe it's a 2018 uh, Softail Slim. So if you guys were wondering about you know making the switch between the 2020 to a 2022 or 2021, 20, yeah, 2022. Uh, dash cover you, you, you know you guys would have to you, you guys could you know get get pretty much any of the other fuel tanks it's got that same uh, bolting that mounting area right here so it's all the same I uh, the soft top slim the lowrider is uh, the new breakouts and I believe if I'm correct maybe the fat boy I'm not entirely sure but 100% uh, you know soft top slim any tank, if you find it on eBay from 2018 all the way through Soft Top Slim, it's going to fit that uh, dash cover, that that new lowrider ish dash cover. Um, everything else is still the same, you know, tw from 2020. I just, of course, uh, you know, painted it. You guys can see the paint. We have a candy apple red. 
uh, with a gold leaf. What, they, what did they call this? I think they called it vignetting gold leaf. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I mean, there's just so many things for you to do when it comes to your paint. I mean, I could have done designs slashing. I could, you know, I, I mean, there's just so many things I could have done, but I really like how the flake, how the scales look. So, I mean, I could have, I, you know, I could have broken it in pieces, stuff like that. There's just so much stuff you could do. And then obviously it's more sun rays just to kind of go with the whole theme of the paint. And then, of course, we have it on the inside of the fairing. You guys can see. You know, down there and down there, of course, everything's, you know, measured out, precise. You guys can also see it, of course, right there. And then once again, you can see the gold leaf, gold leaf, you know, it's, the, it's, it's everywhere. It's just, you know, a little subtle. I'm not a master at the gold leaf, so I, I've been, you know, I've, I've been making a lot of mistakes. Yes, you know, you guys can see it, it like it's a drop shadow on the gold leaf. I just like the way it looks. So same you know just all the way around and then of course the lowers it also has the same uh the same uh you know the, it's, it's the same paint job it, you have the scales along with the uh the gold leaf and then if you guys just look at of course the audio system i have a whole playlist for everything you see here i i have all the install videos in case you guys were wondering uh the audio itself we have four speakers <laughs> four speakers we have five quarters four inch kickers these are rockford fosgates we have jvc marine uh, what is it 600 watt amp underneath the fairing you guys have to see the videos in case you guys are wondering how do i mount all of that stuff uh you know the, the it sounds amazing I, i've been a huge fan i'm still debating if i should cut cut my cover and then drop drop this down there so i don't know i'm still debating if i should do that because this this uh this dash cover cost me more than the actual fuel tank, and um, yeah, we have uh, four speakers. It I believe um, what's the the sound? I, mean, I can't remember. I believe it's 110 decibels from my face. You guys seen my other videos? You guys, you know, I have I upload videos on TikTok and I upload videos on Instagram. If I remember correct, it's about 111 decibels right here in my face. So there's that's where I measured my uh, decibel my decibel meter at max on the uh, on on the phone. Of course, you guys can see how that's mounted. So JVC, I, I've been very happy with the uh, audio system. As soon as I turn the bike on, it automatically connects to my phone and then it plays whatever I was listening to, you know, uh, before. So that's pretty neat. It it auto plays. I like that. And you can actually connect two different devices onto the same app at, at the same time. So if you wanted to, you could you know you could install a a, a head a, a a media header right here or you know wherever you want to put it on your bike. You could put it there. You could put it you know on your on your handlebars, whatever. Um, I mean, there's just so much on this build. You guys can see I relocated the gauges. That's one thing you're not going to see on on these new. Uh, on these and these new lowriders, they don't come with with dual gauges. Let's go ahead and turn this on. You guys can hear what she sounds like at the idle. It's uh, what is it? I believe it's a hundred and what's the engine temp? So you guys can have a. I uh, I was I was writing it earlier. So let's see. We are at engine temp 122 degrees. So it's still you know it's still 100 degrees away from. From, uh, from 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 operating normal operating temperatures and you guys can also see blocking my license plate you guys can see I have the alloy art uh, strut lights I have the uh, I have the OEM tail light because I mean it's pretty much uh, LEDs I'm I am considering swapping that out with the custom dynamics and then you can also see I have custom dynamics turn signals and I also have a LP6 which I wired myself I like I said all of these videos are on the channel I have uh, the LP6 and I also have the S1s uh, the S1s are from well not the S1s but the the grills those are from Dominator and that's what the fairing is in case you guys were wondering I'm trying to tint my uh, my wind my my lens cover my headlight cover 
you guys can see it I mean it looks really janky it really jacked it up but I think I got a good idea of how to do it so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and then reattempt it again I'm gonna to try to tint my my windshield because man this LP6 is extremely bright it is bright I mean it's bright bright it's nuts I mean I could ride around with my with my chrome uh, visor and I can see just fine. I can't do that with anything else. The LP6, I can see bright as day with a uh, you know with the with the chrome visor. So I also have uh, some auxiliary lights that are connected to, of course, my switch. You guys can see it down there. Those are also LEDs. Those are you know those are also bright. I mean the S1s, like I said, those are from the. The, the grill, you guys can see the grill because people have been asking, hey, how do you get that? You can actually just mount the S1s onto the fairing, you don't need that. Let's go ahead and turn this off because I, I, I've had cops chase me, or just one cop. One cop chased me because I had those those on. Like I said, I'm trying to tint this because that the light is just too bright. I saw another hack where you could actually put a, a vinyl, because I, I also have a vinyl cutter. I might just uh, cover up those, those, those bottom lights instead of it being that big fan like this I'm gonna cut it in the middle that way it, it you know it's kind of like a DOT uh, light like from uh, custom dynamics and demon lights so that you know that lights running off a relay uh, I mean there's just so much on this bike there's just so much on this bike I can't really you know do a full walk around it's gonna take me like 30 minutes but man this thing you can hear it rumbling Whole bike shaking. I'm looking forward to installing the uh, the windshield. I also have a throttle tuner on this thing, so this thing takes off crazy. It's it's nuts. Uh, the audio. I mean, it's it's loud. Like I said, it's 110 decibels. The engine idles at 90 uh, two feet from the exhaust. Like I said, you guys got to watch my videos. I thought there was somebody standing behind me. Uh, you guys got to check out the videos. I believe it idles at 97 decibels and then you bring it up to 3000 RPM. That shoots up to 110 decibels and then anything above 4000 RPM uh, it, it, uh, that's 130 decibels plus uh, two feet from the exhaust. Uh, yeah, that's I've noticed 4000 once you go over 3,000, 4,000 RPM, it, it yeah, it, it just pretty much sounds the same. At idle, like I said, 97, 110 at 2,000, 2,000 RPM, 3,000, and then anything above 4,000, it's 130 decibels, and that's, you know, that's loud. That's pretty loud, guys, and that's because of, of course, the shorty. Uh, no, it's it's mostly the uh, the, the stage two. This thing wasn't that rowdy. As soon as I I, I installed that stage two, man, it's just it, it's just woken up with the beast. Uh, I also have you guys can also see a little a little engine temp gauge right there from Penzoma. That's pretty neat. You know, for 40 bucks, it's it's a solid piece. I mean, it's made out of Ole. It's machined. I mean, the the whole the how it's made and everything. I really the build quality. It's it's I mean, it's very impressive for it being um, you know made in China. I also, I mean, I want to do a video where you can actually just put a little filter on that from, from the breather bolts. You can go on Amazon, you can buy a little breather bolt, you can remove the actual dipstick on the inside. It's a little thermostat, kind of like what you do, kind of like what you have when you're cooking. Uh, it's got it's got that tube, you can pull that out and just, just put a little filter on top and you could have a, a vented oil, um, oil dipstick it, it, it I mean you're not gonna be able to read your oil level or or your oil temp but you will be able to vent that crank pressure from your dipstick which is you know pretty neat and uh, I have some other stuff that I'm gonna be doing to the bike I just I'm not gonna uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna take a break from wrenching on it because I just man uh, like I said I've been I've been going at it I have my nine to five and I've been retching on it uh, pretty much, you know, two, three hours. Uh, well, when it's not raining because, you know, I don't have a garage. But I, I've been wrenching on it quite a bit. And I can't really motor vlog because I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have the setup right now. But uh, anyways, that's a quick 
little walk run on my 2024 Lowrider S. You guys can see I have, like I said, I'm still debating the dash cover. Oh, I, I believe I told you guys I was going to let you guys hear the idle. Um, uh, I'm, I'm still going to uh, swap out the, uh, the intake. I'm going to swap out the injectors. That's, that's pretty much what's next for the bike. I'm going to do the injectors and I'm going to do the intake. We're going to see how much power this thing can, can output with the stage two and the intake. Oh, well, and it's, I mean, it's, it's already, it's got a SNS intake. You, you guys can see, you know, it's, it's not the plastic one. It's got the SNS. You guys can see it right there. It's got the SNS intake. 114 horsepower at 127 foot-pounds of torque at the wheel. That's pretty, you know, that's pretty much what you, you'll get out of your 121 high output at the wheel, of course. But this is, uh, you know, this, this isn't, uh, how would we say, EPA tune. You know, I don't want to get in trouble, but of course, obviously, you know, those kind of numbers compared to what you get with the 121 high output, carb tune compliant, uh, 2024 bike but of course this this bike also weighs about you know 200 pounds less than than that new Rogue Glide CVOST uh, the Settleman uh, seat from San Diego Customs I've been running this for about what is it two years now man you know it's just a, the whole the whole everything about the build you know it just ties it in uh, you know nicely Everything uh, TCMT crash bar, TCMT rear cra uh, crash bar, the flow motorsport uh, foot pegs. We have so much, like I said, man, there's just so much uh, to you know include the actual fuel pump. It's also an eBay item bought from a lowrider ST. I guess it was wrecked, then it came with the it, it didn't, it, I mean, it was missing. The oil level, the sensor, but I, I went ahead and I bought one from Amazon for um, like eight bucks, but it's not you know the proper one. So it, it just I have two gallons of fuel in this thing and it's and it's marking three uh, three quarters. So it's gonna be it's just the way the 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 metal's bent in there. So I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? And like I said, I mean they're all the same. <laughs> the, from 2020 all the way to the 2024s, they're all the same. That's that's why I'm like I'm just saying, it's not really worth paying all the all the markups and all the fees when I mean these bikes are pretty much the same. Like I said, we have the same rear shock, we have the same uh, fuel tank, and then we also have the uh, cruise control. So I mean this this already includes everything. Oh, I also have I have the uh, the easy uh, the easy pull clutch on on this bike. That's from Moto Tech. I got the new one, so I so I have that uh, that neutral safety switch. Let me just show you guys. This one does not have the neutral safety switch. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but you get you guys can see it. The new ones, it's got a little a little piece of metal right here that 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 actually uh, you know activates that neutral safety switch. So I gotta get around to you know swapping that out. Uh, One seventeen. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, Bitwell grips. This is from uh, Speed Kings, in case you guys were wondering. Uh, the mounting for this, of course, this is Kraus, so you really can't fit it. I, I actually you know, cut my own piece and I made it sit in there, so that's why it just sits a little bit different from what you could probably get from Kraus. It's gonna be a little different. It's not gonna be the same, because you know, that's a one-off piece. All of this, of course, was, was done in my garage. Uh, the lay-down license plate is from Kuriakin. Uh, I also have the Leather Pros, but I, I haven't, uh, I haven't installed them. I'm just having too much fun. Without the Leather Pros, I shed off about 40 pounds when they're empty, of course. 40 pounds off of the, the saddlebags. So, I mean, the, this thing really, you know, picks up. And I, like I said, I have the throttle tuner, so I have it to level 6. And, man, this thing is just nuts. When, when, when you don't have the saddlebags and you have the throttle tuner turned on, it's, uh, you know, it's a little scary. But, I mean, I just really like the, the way the throttle tuner kicks in. So it's not too jerky like you get on the um, on, on the Indians. If you guys ridden an Indian with the uh, with with the riding mode, sport mode, you guys are going to you know just see how 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 jerky that bike is. 
this one kicks in after uh, after about 2000 rpm so you have smooth uh, throttle control in the low end and of course and once you start getting on it about I'd say 40, 40%, 50%, it's just somehow the throttle tuner, it, it removes all that sensitivity and that throttle lag between 20% uh, to 60%, like I said, depending on the level. So from, you know, 10 to 20% throttle, you still have, uh, you know, that smooth um, uh, takeoff. But once you, you know, once you hit it at 30%, 40% of the throttle, it, it shoots you up to 60%. On the on, on the throttle blade control on your uh, throttle your throttle body. So, anyways, enough rambling. I'm gonna just take a spin. Life's a risk. <laughs> Life's a risk. What is that noise? Oh, it's fireworks. Of course, it's uh, Chinese New Year. I've been hearing, and I'm just because I I just got on the bike and I put stuff together, and I'm wondering if it's the bike or if if it's if you know there's something rattling. What the heck's going on? There's something loose, and I'm just kind of like, oh, that's what it is. It's the Chinese New Year. So, happy uh, Chinese New Year. You guys stay out there, stay safe. Life's risk. Get out there and ride. Later.